In part one, I discussed the different steps of our simulation workflow for antenna design, coupling, and installed performance. I also described the different solvers and the automatic adaptive meshing technique used in HFSS. We'll now begin our simulation workflow with a candidate antenna design. The Antenna Design Toolkit automatically creates the geometry with boundaries and excitations, assigns solution setup, and generates post-processing reports for several popular antenna elements. Well over 60 standard antenna topologies are available. All the antenna models generated from the toolkit are ready to simulate, so you can run a quick analysis of any antenna of your choosing. To illustrate, here you see a sinuous spiral and helix antenna models, as well as a Vivaldi antenna, all directly generated from the toolkit and ready to solve. The toolkit is integrated into ANSYS Electronics Desktop. You can access it from the menu View, Act Extensions. The Act Start page is the point of entry to the toolkit. Click Wizard. From here, activate HFSS Antenna Toolkit. For our workflow, We'll start a planar inverted F antenna. So let's expand PIFA. Click PIFA planar inverted F to display it. The antenna parameters such as frequency, dimensions, and boundary conditions are all predefined. If you specify the desired frequency and click synthesize, the toolkit will automatically generate the antenna with the appropriate dimensions. Alternatively, you can also edit these parameters as needed. For the demonstration, we'll use the default values of this antenna, so press Finish. The antenna is launched directly from the toolkit. Press Ctrl plus Alt and drag the mouse to rotate the geometry. The substrate of this model has been assigned Duroid. The antenna element, ground plane, and microstrip feed are all assigned perfect E boundaries. In the Project Manager window, select the option under Excitations. The details of the excitation are displayed in the Properties window. A lumped port is defined to excite the model. Press the Zoom Fit option for a closer view of the lumped port. Zoom out now. Antennas launched from the toolkit are always in a ready-to-solve state. The adaptive frequency for this antenna is 2.4 GHz. Interpolating and discrete sweeps are defined from 1.2 GHz to 3.6 GHz. Right-click the setup and select Analyze from the shortcut menu to start the simulation. Once the simulation completes, you will see the reports update. The post-processing reports are all predefined. Just select the report of your choice to view the results. For instance, double-click Return Loss to view S11 versus Frequency. Select the curve, right click, and go to Marker and add Minimum Marker from the shortcut menu. The minimum marker is added to the trace. Alternatively, you can right click anywhere on the report and select Marker, Add X Marker, select the marker and drag it to the desired location as shown. So the antenna is resonating at 2.43 GHz and a magnitude of S11 of about minus 24 dB at this frequency. The antennas from the toolkit have also been parameterized. Select the design. The properties window reveals all the variables defined for this model. It is very advantageous to have a parameterized model design since you can easily resize the antenna by simply changing these values. The feature is very useful especially when you want to fit this antenna within a housing and tune it. In the next video we'll perform these very steps of placing this antenna in a side view mirror of a car and tuning it.